Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a continuation for the topic interfaces. In this video, we are going to see about the topic clocking blocks in interface. So what is a clocking block? First of all, what a clocking block provides? So the clocking event that provides a synchronization reference for the DUT and test bench. The set of signals that will be sampled and driven by the test bench. The timing relative to the clock event that the test bench uses to drive and sample those signals. So basically, consider this as a DUT and here we have a test bench and this test bench is driving the signals to the DUT. This test bench is driving the signals to the DUT and the drived signals which are received by the DUT will be sampled and it will sample the signals. The DUT will sample the signals and these signals will be given to the test bench. So TB will drive the signals to DUT and DUT will sample the signals. So this driving and sampling of the signals will be happen will be happening at the edges of the clock. This is a clock. So interface or mod port will not give any specification at which clock edge or at which time instance the signal should be driven and sampled. Without a clocking block, there might be a chances of race around. That is, driving and sampling can happen at only one point. So to avoid these race around conditions, to avoid these race around conditions, we are going to use this clocking block. So what is the role of this clocking block? This clocking block will provide the information that at which instance the signal should be driven and at which time unit or instance the signal should be sampled by the DUT and the test bench. So this information will be provided by the clocking block. This is the syntax of the clocking block, declaration of clocking block, clocking CV at the rate of, this is the event at the rate if we want uh, negage or passage here we can declare it. Here default input hash 1 and output hash 2 and this is input signal with respect to clocking block and this is output signal and here we are ending the clocking block. Let us see some terminologies related to clocking block. Clocking event. The event specification used to synchronize clocking block at the rate of passage of clock is the clocking event. So at the rate of passage of clock or at the rate of uh, negage of clock is the clocking event. Clocking signals. Signals sampled and driven by the clocking block from DUT and to DUT are the clocking signals. So in this example, we have seen that some signals are driven from test bench to DUT and some signals are driven from DUT to test bench. So accordingly, we will declare the input and output. So signal sampled and driven by the clocking block from DUT and to DUT are the clocking signals and clocking skew. Clocking skew specifies the moment with respect to clock edge at which input and output clocking signals are to be sampled or driven respectively. A skew must be a constant expression and can be specified as a parameter. So here in this example, we can see here input skew is hash1 and output skew is hash2. Here values hash1 and hash2 are clocking skews, which means here we can see the meaning of input and output skew. Here before the clock edge, we are sampling the signals and after the clock edge, we are driving the signals. So because of this clocking block, there will be no race around that is driving, sampling the signals is happening at one instance and driving the signals is happening at other instance. So here race around condition is removed. 
So here hash one input hash one represents that input skew and output hash one represents output skew. That is if we if we mention input hash one, then signals will be sampled at an instant at a time instance of hash one before the clock edge. And if we mention output hash one, then the signals will drive after one unit one delay unit after the clock edge. So here in this example, the delay values hash one and hash two are the clock edge skews. Input and output skews. Input or in-out signals are sampled at the designated clock event. If an input skew is specified, then the signal is sampled at skew time units before the clock event. Similarly, the output or in-out signals are driven skew simulation time units after the corresponding clock event. So here, if an input skew, so we have already discussed that if an input skew is specified, then the signal is sampled at skew time units before the clock event. So here we have mentioned input hash one. So here we have mentioned input hash one. So this signal is sampled. So the signal is sample at skew time units before the clock event here skew time units is hash one so here before one time unit the signal is being sampled and we have mentioned output skew has output skew as hash one so here the signals are driven after one time unit similarly the output signals are driven skew simulation time units after the corresponding clock event so this is all about clocking block in system web block. Thank you for watching this video.